Slicing prints for molten material can be a bit of a trick, and it's not entirely obvious how to do it in Prusa Slicer. So today I'm going to show you how to set up the Prusa XL profile, which can be applied to other molten material systems, and I'll be showing you the two main ways of doing molten material prints, painting, and if you already have a model that's set up for molten material. Anyways, let's jump into Prusa Slicer. First, we need to get the profile, which is found by going into Printer Settings, and then click Add Printer. And if your printer is anything but a Prusa, select other vendors, find the printer if it's there, otherwise you'll need to set up a new profile. Everything for my tool tool Prusa XL is already set up, but for other printers you may want to check that there are at least two extruders. Also, I'd recommend setting the colors you want for the extruder by selecting extruders and then color. Well, now let's import the models. If you or someone else designed the model for our multi-material specifically, then you could just import the two separate pieces and it will ask you if it's multi-material. Select yes, and if the model was made properly, you should be good to slice it. While this is great, most models aren't necessarily made from multi-material, because they take time to do and not everyone has a printer that can do it in the first place. In which case, the painting feature is really convenient. Just select the model, hit N or the paint icon, and you will see the pop-up. You could set the first color and second color to any extruder. The difference is that the first color will paint with the left mouse and the right for the second. You can then change the brush size and clip your model to paint interiors. Circle and brush are pretty similar, but triangle is pretty cool and it's a little bit more based on geometry. If it's low poly, then it will select quite a lot. Then there's Smart Fill, which is definitely my favorite as it will select everything within whatever angle you have it set as. Though Bucket Fill is also pretty cool as well. It's honestly like using the bucket in Microsoft Paint as it will fill the selection based on what's painted next to it and just fill that entire area. Well, there you have it. Once you have your model painted, you can slice it. I definitely recommend checking for areas that have bridging, as that may have issues if you painted them two different colors. The bridge might look a little wonky. I made this mistake earlier, and yeah, it didn't look very good. Well, let me know what you think. I quite like how Prusa implemented the multiple material, and here's that lizard that I was showing off in this demo, printing. Oh, and weekly extra. 